Well, if this is your first time checking into TFE TV, thank you for being here. This is kind of some of the content you'll be seeing. It's dog training stuff. It's mindset stuff, stories. You just never know what's coming next. But thank you for being here. Don't forget to subscribe. And if this video right here actually provides value for you, please don't forget to leave us a thumbs up. Let us know what you think in the comment section. Okay. We're trying to grow so we can do better productions and provide even better content for you guys. Hey, we're gonna have our year one of these years. All right, you go. Awesome. Needs a reminder to slow down every now and again. Finally got to sit. Remember he was being a jerk after the day one? He wouldn't sit. <laughs> George, here. <laughs> oh, look at him. George, sit. Yes. Down. Good down, boy. Good. That's a new command. Never got him to down. <laughs> yes. Good, George. Well, we are still at the point of sort of the beginning of it, I'll say. I mean, two weeks was a good opportunity. It was a good time, amount of time to, to get that going, to shape it. Mm -hmm. His duration isn't great. Hey, buddy, sit. <laughs> but, you know, his impulse control will be a work in progress for some time to come. Heel. What do you think about George, man? George is beautiful. He is, huh? Yes. Hey, so is his dog trainer. <laughs> yeah, he is. Yeah, and these are his lovely people. He's about three years. Slow down your pace. Good. Relax your body. Your right arm too. How do you feel? Good? Yeah, there you go. Nice and there you go. Keep on going. So you're not concerned with him getting distracted. You're concerned with where you're headed. Okay. So when you focus like that, you could feel that leash pressure start to go over to the right. So you just bring him back on over like nothing happened. And you just continue on with it. Awesome. Beautiful. So we were just simply going over a few additional things that we can do to just take a sit uh, from a dog that perhaps might be distracted or a dog that's just bullheaded like George. Um, sometimes just the verbal command isn't really enough to get the dog to perform the behavior. So we just add a couple of different things. Um, I guess we could get, call it pressure. So I'm gonna use space pressure, get all up in his area, or perhaps use some leash pressure or even some, throw me that e-collar. Yeah, boom, perhaps maybe even some e-collar pressure. So um, for an example, 
Um, follow me. We're gonna, I'm gonna come up to this orange ladder and I'm gonna suddenly need him to sit. So what I'm gonna do is, George, sit. Boom, very hasty. But if I were to come up here and just turn a little bit and just say the command and not put any pressure on him, he may not really, we may not get that expedited behavior. Does that make sense? Let's try it again, let's back up. Back pedal for me. Yeah, come on. Watch this. Phew. Because we're not there yet, I'm gonna show you why that's important. George, sit. See? Jonathan. Sit. Cool, so there's a sit re there's a sit reinforcer. If he's not doing it with just the verbal, our only option therefore is to reinforce it. I might repeat the command as I reinforce it because we're trying to build the association that that sound, sit, means this behavior, sit. And with him, we have to just remind him time and time again because he's George, good boy. <laughs> All right, come on, mama.